Hello friends, today I am here with a promised video about the poker market buying process. Um, I'm probably just going to do this over a couple of days, couple of weeks, depending on what kind of photo cards we are to find. But I thought I would just take you along on the journey of how poker market works and let's actually go into my collection because as you can see I already have a whole bunch of photo cards in here and basically especially the Juhan photo cards um those a lot of those are a little I, want, I don't want to necessarily say rare ones but ones that I had been looking for and I just wanted to make sure that I purchased those as quickly as possible especially for the prices that they were up and so um you know i already placed a couple of orders so as you can see uh at the top right there i say that as if you can see my hand moving but anyway at the top it says 12. so i have 12 photo cards and you can ship a maximum of 20 photo cards and you know just to make sure that i make full use out of the shipping costs i am actually you know gonna try and get eight more cards to fill this entire order so let's go into search and i am actually going to look for uh juhan cards i check his cards pretty regularly so as you can see they give you a like they suggest groups to you and then when you click on the group then you can choose um, the member as well so let's just go through and see if there's anything that I you know still need um, something that I didn't address in my first poker market haul that I did but that I think is pretty important for me to uh, talk about is the fact that they do do member pricing and I think that this is just one of those things <laughs> that I feel like is a little bit like hard to talk about. Um, but it is something that, you know, you all should just be aware of. But it is pretty much the same as with Makari Japan, where you don't really have any sort of influence on this. The way I've been eyeing this broadcast PC, but oh, I don't really want to pay $70 for it. Um, but yeah, basically, oh, that's such a cute unit card. And I kind of still need cards to fill my Monster X University page and my binder. Anyway, oh my gosh, I keep getting distracted um, by all these cute unit cards. Oh my gosh, what was I talking about? Yeah, so this, you know, these cards here are from Korean sellers, as far as we know anyway. Again, Poker Market is not super transparent with this stuff, but that's my understanding anyway. And so basically, this just represents the um, Korean market and I'm, there's nothing that I can do about it, right? The same way that like I cannot change the way that people on Makari Japan price their stuff. That's simply something that is out of my power. But I'm not going to boycott this entire website that has, you know, pretty good prices just because they reflect the Korean member pricing. I do want to check what's going on with kino's photo cards currently i always have some hope that i will be able to get um the last missing album photo card of his but i should also check out if i want to get any of these pose photo cards okay so i feel like i'm kind of eyeing this music korea one and then i do love this one as well and this one. So I definitely see this Music Korea one. This one on the right side, that's just one of the like normal album photo cards. It's not a pre-order, but I feel like that one is really cute as well. I mean, the prices are really good and everything on Makari Japan 
is only in sets. And I need three more cards to complete my uh, nine pocket for pose. I'm tempted to just look at my setup <laughs> and see what would make most sense. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking is it would be nice to get one more with the pink suit. So we'd have two of that and then one more with the mesh shirt and then maybe just one more with like the the blue shirt which that was that was one of the ones that i wanted anyway right mm, yeah this one on the right okay i feel like okay we're gonna go with this one let's go through you know this process once so as you can see, it has this thing here that says verified authentic and they kind of explain how they check that as well. Again, my experience buying with them was really good and everything seemed as official as far as I could tell. Uh, so, you know, that's that's why we're here. Um, anyway, you do have to put money in your wallet. I'm sure we will get to that point in this video but right now i still have money in my wallet so i'm not gonna put anything in uh, as you can see there is a transaction fee and basically the transaction fee is one dollar up to a purchase price of three dollars and then after three dollars there is a certain percentage that you pay i'm not quite sure how much that is but yeah that's how it works so you can see i currently have still twelve dollar ninety in my um, wallet left it shows you you know the total with the fee and then the balance remaining so then you have to confirm these two things. Gives you like a thingy and done. Okay. Oh, see, that was the only one that they had in stock of that photo card too. So that's very blessed. So now's the question. The one that I have is the, the one on the right in the suit. So let's see the other options that we have are this beat road PC and this normal PC. They're both they're both two dollars. So I really just have to I was like, oh, I'm just gonna decide by the price because I like both of them a lot. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna go with the this one actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. And then I think. I am just going to get a pink suit one for the last one, which I almost feel like I like the Music Korea one more than I like the Beat Road one. Even though he does the peace sign in the Beat Road one, I think the Music Korea one speaks more to me. Let me see again if there's anything else. <sighs> I mean... This one on the left is really cute as well. Plus it's different. I mean, I already have one of those, but it's still different. No, I'm gonna go with this one actually. Okay. We are running out of balance now, so. <laughs> so now we can see those cards in my collection as well. And you can take as much time as you want to accumulate the photo cards. Something else that I would like to check out for today's chunk is, well, actually, I kind of want to look at, um, kind of want to look at Seventeen stuff as well. But I'm tempted to look at Tay um, cards of TXT because I just put my TXT collection into a mini binder. And I now know very specifically which cards I still want to get. So I'm not sure though. I'm not too familiar with TXT prices. Since I mostly just keep my polls. And then oh, I've always been obsessed with the uh, DVD PC. I've always been wanting to get a set. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm not super familiar with the TXT prices, so I'm not quite sure. Um, for some of the 
cards that I still need of his. I feel like it's probably smarter for me to buy a set on Mukari Japan, but at least, you know, we can take a little scroll and see what's going on. Gosh, I love this freeze PC so much as well. Like, it's so good. Like, no wonder that one's $10. It's so nice. It, it's always like, <laughs> I'm always like, oh, I don't care that much about my TXT collection. And then I will scroll through photo cards and I'm just like, oh my God, let me collect every single thing. I'm so like... I loved his birthday merch last year so much as well. And I felt a little bit stupid for not getting that. But that's just like, it's that's just not how I collect TXT. But I still, ugh, I still kind of mourn not having that. Okay, there's a, there's a, they have a good, uh, amount of txt cards on here we love to see it oh i've always really wanted this photo card as well i'm not gonna get it but i always lo really love this card too okay so i don't know i i don't think i'm quite ready to buy anything on there right now but at least we had a little scroll let's look at some 17 things so i think you know obviously as you can see at the top search here you know when you choose like the member it will just put in the hangul for the member but i think i can just put in director's cut okay it doesn't show anything which could simply just be that they don't have any of those cards there let's put in just to test it we'll put in face the sun see that actually works oh wow the lucky draw price that was quite surprising let, I just want to scroll through. <laughs> I have all of DK's uh, Face the Sun cards that I want, but I'm just like, mm. I don't know. Just look at prices. Interesting, the difference and the lucky draws. Ooh. Ooh, wait, that is kind of tempting. Oh no, I thought I was done with Face the Sun. But now I'm seeing this one. Oh my god. No, oh, that's so tempting. <laughs> but I'm done. I'm done. No more Face the Sun. Oh no, they have the other one as well. Mm. See, this for example is like one of those things where I assume that they just buy the full set from a Korean seller but then they put those cards in individually. And honestly, I mean, I feel like it's like a good, if you really just have like three cards that you want from the set and you don't want to get the full carrot version, I mean, you do you, right? Oh my God, these Tower Records cards? They, they go for that much? Oh my God. Oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's insane. I just want to... What's this card? Be the sun, the city. What does that mean? I don't even know. Oh, I'm so not up to date. Oh, wow. The Polaroid. I mean, it's $26. What the fuck? But... <laughs> um, and see, it's like crazy. I don't know what the Dream PCs go for on Makari Japan or Rakuma these days. But like when I initially bought them, they definitely weren't going for $23. And I think this very well could just be because, you know, those are Japanese comeback cards. Naturally, they're going to be more expensive on a um, Korean website, right? <gasps> Oh my god, these Be The Sun The City photo cards? Well, fucking hell. Okay, anyway, we're just getting distracted uh, by... Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. <sighs> what I was trying to say, or what I'm actually looking for, is to see if there's any director's cut on here, because I just bought the albums. They were restocked at this German retail, like, K-pop shop. And I, you know, pulled one DK, actually. 
but I don't really think that people are trading those cards just because those albums are like out of print and stuff. And the one card that I have left, I want to trade for the other DK if possible. So I just want to see if I could find them, if I could find booze on here. Gosh. So I'm having I'm having trouble speaking and like scrolling at the same time and just like trying to process what I'm seeing. I hope I'm making any sense whatsoever, actually. They definitely have a really nice choice of cards for 17. Oh wow! The carrot zone? Oh my god. Okay, now now I just have to look on Makari, actually. I mean, there's one for like 5,000 yen, but like Okay, 4,500, but like those are all sold, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, that is quite interesting as well. I don't necessarily know if it's reasonable, those $26, but it's certainly it is less. Oh, season's greetings. I still need to get season's greetings cards as well. Anyway, th for sure, the price on here right now is way more reasonable than it is on Makari Japan. Oh, okay, so I do see. Okay, so here's the director's cut lenticula for $7. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god god that card is everything are you kidding me okay it has been a while uh, since those last clips i don't really know where i left off but it has genuinely just been a couple of weeks and i still haven't bought anything else haven't really looked on there to be fair um but i really want to you know, get two 20 photo cards so that I can ship these out because I want to actually ship this one to my K Eddie or see how much it is to ship it to my K Eddie. Um, because I have a bunch of things that I'll be shipping out from there soon. So I'm kind of trying to see what's going on here Ooh, the polaroid lucky draw that is on my wish list still i'm so close to finally completing rush hour as well so i'm very tempted but i'll continue to scroll for now okay that's it for johanny so i'll keep the rush hour polaroid in mind but i'm just not quite sure if i'm ready to spend that kind of money for you know a polaroid um i'll quickly just have a scroll through you know always just hoping i'll get lucky with that demo one photo card but not today oh gosh i feel like there's too much to there's always too much to scroll through with 17 I feel like if it can only work if I'm looking for something specific. But I will check um, Hobie. I'm looking for the vinyl PC. And I'm kind of hoping it will pop up here. See, this is crazy. Like, sometimes with the prices on there, like, how the hell is this Polaroid from the photofolio up here for $5? Like, that's insane. And then there's other stuff where you're just like, it's so cheap. And you're like, it... <laughs> uh, oh, see, they have the Love Yourself vinyl photo card up here. Interesting. Oh, see, that's it already. I feel like that wasn't, you know, too much. Um, What I want to do real quick. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the the fact photo book um i want to see if i can find one of yungi's mini pcs i don't know if putting love yourself in oh yeah oh yeah i'm seeing okay they don't have the one that i want though okay this ticket is something that i was looking for and now we can actually charge our wallet and this is something that i wanted to talk about as well as of right now um well first of all here are your payment methods 
But most importantly, you can only charge your wallet with these amounts that you see here. So if you want to charge your wallet twenty dollars, it's you have to do ten dollars two times, which you know would end up having like double the fee. Um it is not the biggest difference. Like you, as you can see, the fee for ten dollars is one dollar ten and then for thirty dollars it's three dollars so you know you end up paying a little bit of extra fee but obviously rather pay a little bit of extra fee than you know to end up having money left in your wallet that you don't need um but you know obviously as it goes higher the fee definitely gets uh you know in comparison is much smaller it's just something to be aware of. Um, what I did when I charged my wallet the first time is like I literally just like scrolled through, opened a whole bunch of tabs of stuff that I was interested in and then calculated the total. So I had a rough idea of what it was going to be. Obviously, the fees were added and then you have to pay for shipping later too. But just so that I had like a rough idea of how much I was spending, I just made sure to calculate everything. And I am going to charge $30. Uh, for me, at this point, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to continue using Poker Market. So even if I don't end up spending the $30, uh, you know, I, I will be able to use it at a later date. But I'm also, again, not aware of what it costs to ship uh, Poker Market cards within Korea. So we'll have to see about that. But for now, we'll charge it. If you use PayPal, there is an additional uh, $30, not $30, 30 cents fee. Um, I don't know. I guess everything else, it's fine and then there's a charging limit as you can see as well now i have 30 dollars in my wallet and oh gosh now i think i have to actually because i didn't go back yeah we'll, we'll, we're gonna find that tay one again there we go perfect we love to see it okay we'll scroll down to wherever we were which we might not find if this was the only card that they had of that okay i don't think we've been through these ones yet we'll see i was gonna look for hobbies um the final dvd photo card i don't think we saw that did we oh man i forgot about that should have put more in my wallet <laughs> oh see there was another listing we paid less though didn't we so <laughs> Thank God, I guess. Okay, it is two days later and I was just uh, scrolling on browser actually and I saw this one. Yes, this one. I'm gonna buy this one for sure. Okay. <laughs> and then I am actually gonna go for that... Lucky, lucky draw Polaroid as well, even though it does mean that I have to put money in my wallet again. But I just checked and I even have it in my binder. Like I've made a uh, placeholder for it. So it is kind of, oh man, I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna find it easily like that. Um, but yeah, I, I have even made a placeholder. So there is a place in my binder for it, which I feel like that was really important for me. Like that's something where I was like, let me check. Um, and, you know, it is really one of the few rush hour uh, cards that I am still missing. I think there's only three more cards that I'm missing now that are like, quite rare not i mean i don't know not rare necessarily but just more expensive in general and i feel like this is the most um the highest priced item we have bought so far uh and so as you can see you know this is where the transaction fee definitely is you know this is i mean it's it's not not little right um 
obviously compared to services like Neokyo or Bai or whatever kind of Japanese proxy that I feel like a lot of people are familiar with, you will usually just have a certain fee of like 300 to 500 yen per order and it does not matter how much the price of the item is, it will stay that way. And obviously with this one, like for example, if I bought that one broadcast PC that we keep scrolling by, the fee would probably be like an additional $20. So obviously that is something to just always be, uh, you know, aware of. I, I mean, it hurts a little bit to pay that for it, but it is an item that I've been, you know, uh, I, I mean, not actively searching for, but have been wanting as a part of my collection for a little bit. So, you know, we had to use that opportunity. So we have 18 cards now. So we have spaces for two more. Another day, another scroll. <laughs> there are some very specific cards that I want to look for. So that's what we're going to do. But obviously I can't go a day without seeing what's up for Kino. <laughs> I'm never giving up. Okay, <laughs> um, so the first thing that I'm looking for is I just want to see what um, uh, Jin's astronaut cards. Ooh, oh, wow, they don't even have the one from that one version. But basically, I want to get this card. And I just wanted to see how it's on here. I feel like $9 is okay for like a BTS album photo card, but I'd probably be able, you know, just like considering the fees and everything, I think I'd be able to find it on Instagram. Director's cut. Okay, that's not working. Oh no, that is so sad. I was really, really hoping that I could find the other card that I didn't pull. Do they have? They don't have, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I think we're gonna have to scroll. Even though I know there's going to be so much to scroll through, but I think we're just gonna do it. It is always an experience scrolling through these cards because I'm like, so many. I'm just looking at like, I'm so in love. I need it in my life. And I'm just like, no. We're on a mission. I feel like I'm not paying enough attention, actually. Oh my god, the lenticular is $10. Okay. Oh, see, but that's good to know. Obviously, the lenticular showed up. That means that the other card that I'm looking for might still show up as well. Except, you know, even though it didn't show up while I was searching for it. Ugh. <sighs> Excalibur. Oh my god. You know what? I'm not even gonna hesitate. I think ten dollars is fine for a photo for a photo card from an out of print album. And I'm just going to go for it. Okay, that's amazing. That means we have one more spot left to fill. So I'm just we're we're just gonna do that, y'all. We're just gonna do that. Because I don't want to wait any longer. Let's do the obligatory. Obligatory? Hmm, not quite sure. <laughs> do honey scroll. <laughs> Maybe something pops up. You never know. Obviously the... Oh, the season's greetings cards. I was gonna... Mm, well, now I feel stupid because I should have just bought those. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. I just... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see quickly. If the vinyl is on here, okay. It is not on here, so I'll 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 go with this one. It's fine. Bam! And that is 20 cards done. So now we go into collection and we and again you can do this at any point. I just like to, you know, try and go to the maximum cards. You click select shipping wait why does it say you can select 40 do you see that at the top right there now hold on a damn minute 
Request shipping update. Oh, users can request shipping photo card from Max. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so it increases the processing fee as well, but I guess that makes sense. I mean, does it make sense? I don't really know if that really makes sense, but you know what? We'll go with it. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Okay, since we are going to be able to fill this order with another four, uh, 20 cards, I am not going to go ahead and go through the process of, you know, like letting you know of, about every single one. But I will for sure uh, take you along on the process of me actually shipping it out. So just give me a couple more days. You won't notice it because there will be a cut and we'll just, you know, I'll, I'll show you what I will have purchased and then we'll do the uh, shipping uh, process. Okay, friends, it is finally time for me to ship out the cards. As you can see, I have 38 cards in my collection now. I ended up accumulating more than I had planned, uh, but I feel really happy. And basically, I, you know, I got this Hobie Happy Ever After um since you know i last recorded i got some txt cards i got dino boos and dk's season's greetings card and this uh I, I mean i don't know maybe i got this the last time i was recording i don't think i did the juhan uh spao card that's like the last one that i still needed and i honestly didn't think i was still gonna get it so i felt really blessed by that I got Juhan's cassette tape photo card, which I um I'm also so incredibly happy about because um that cassette tape sold out super fast. So I also was not really um having any sort of hope that I was going to be able to get that card. So feels very blessed as well. And yeah, just some um be the sun cards as well that I wanted um because they're really cute and yeah that's basically all that i have so let's request shipping if you do have more than 40 cards in your collection you could then potentially you know choose the 40 that you want shipped i'm obviously going to choose select all because i have 38 basically right now the country is set to united states just to show you this is what the shipping price is like to the us and here you can also see the processing fee it includes packaging and storage service but again there's no storage fee in the way that like after 30 days you have to pay a certain amount uh, this is just in general the processing fee um you know that it is i think what was it, it was from one to 20 photo cards it's i think ten dollars from 21 to 30 it is fifteen dollars and then it everything above that is a twenty dollar processing fee so i guess that's kind of good to keep that in mind as well so again it is thirty dollars shipping so obviously this does add up to a lot as well and i think it is uh, very important to keep that in mind um I am going to change it to Germany just to see. It is $28 to ship to Germany. I'm assuming it will probably be quite similar for, you know, most of the countries, at least in Middle Europe. I did not mean to change it to Canada. Um, so let's change it to South Korea because, again, I'm going to uh, ship it out with stuff in my K-Addy. So it is $4 within Korea and obviously that is quite the difference and i feel like that's also you know where i'm kind of just like um you know probably going to try and ship out uh poker market orders whenever i have stuff in my k addy uh, because it is quite the difference so i'm going to put all of the information in and i should still have yes i do still have enough in my wallet i kind of made sure that i had that and yeah i'm going to you know put everything in and then i'll do an outro okay friends this is my shipping list it says processing and then you can click on it and later on it will say the tracking number 
uh, right there and you can track your order as well but i am going to end this video here i'm going to obviously do a separate video opening everything and you know just hauling all the photo cards which is going to be so incredibly exciting but i think this video is long enough as it is i hope that you enjoyed this video of me you know shopping on poker market i hope that it was helpful for you and i hope that you know you have a little bit of a better idea on how to use the service and how the service works and you can check out the first poker market video that i did to see my opinion on you know the authenticity of the cards but obviously that will be a factor that i will talk about in this upcoming haul as well and i will once again do a little bit of uh, comparing with other cards as well so we are going to you know definitely go through everything um but yeah that is it for this video and i just hope that you're having an amazing day and i will see you with another video very soon bye